Okay, we're outside right now, and I'm going to spray seal these uh, different scenes out there, including a piece of stamp board tile with uh, uh, a selection of different clear coats. I have a Krylon Crystal Clear. Um, can be found just about anywhere in any hardware store. Um, acrylic coating. We have a Minwax Polyurethane. Krylon UV resistant, clear. Uh, kind of what made for more of a art type of application uh, than the uh, crystal clear. This is, I don't know, it can be used on whatever, but it's kind of something that you would use like maybe on furniture or something like that and a premium decor clear PDS 7 gloss and we'll try them all out they should look basically the same polyurethane's a little bit different I'm going to use that on the tile but anyways what I was getting at in uh, the video is that um, some of these scenes have dried to somewhat of a dull sheen these trees should look a little bit uh, darker and same thing with all these other scenes right here. They've kind of dried dull, which happens. And one thing that was kind of curious was this scene right here that I used uh, a Luma dye in. It is perfectly saturated and super dark, and it almost looks like I've sprayed it. You know, you can see the blacks in there are very black, as opposed to, say, the black right here, um, you know, which is quite a bit different. You can see the different uh, saturations there, um, or uh, intensity of black. This one dried to kind of like a 90%, and this one still looks 100%, but anyways, all of these can benefit from uh, a spray seal. It tends to uh, bring back the, the depth of, uh, of the scene. Okay, let's start off with uh, the tree trunk one, okay, and I hope this is focusing, let me see if I can get it, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on camera as far as an instant transformation, but let me try with the uh, Krylon Crystal Clear, okay, I always do this outside because it gets real fumey, okay, let's see here, what I do is I go about, oh, probably about nine inches away or so, nine to twelve inches. You want to spray it at about that distance. You don't want to spray too close, otherwise you'll get a puddle of uh, that acrylic spray down there. Uh, try not to breathe too much of this type of thing in. It's not good for you. But anyways, let's go in here. Let's see. Kind of before. Uh, okay. Take a look at the, uh, the, the value of these in terms of uh, light and dark and the saturation of colors. Here, th this is a good idea. Let let's do half and half, okay? Okay, you see that tree? I, I sprayed this side, but uh, you can see the difference between here and here pretty well. I hope the camera is capturing that. So this is kind of, spray sealing is kind of the great equalizer for patent paper combinations, um, or ink and paper combinations. Sometimes some inks just dry dull on certain types of papers, and but you take in these spray seal these things and uh, it kind of brings back the, uh, the richness of the, uh, the inks. I'm getting a little glare here, but I hope you can see the, uh, the difference there. Uh, the Krylon takes a, you know, a few minutes to dry. It depends on what the weather is, of course. Um, let's go on this, go to this one. Even though this looks deep and rich, I think a uh, spray coating would uh, help. Uh, I guess I'll use the, let me just use the Krylon again. I don't know if we can see too much of a difference. Let's look at it from a uh, left and right side. See if you can see any difference at all. Okay. I mean, I can see it, you know, here live. Uh, the blues look a little bit deeper. Okay. Here's a nice. 
nice shiny coat too. Like I said, it takes a little bit to dry, but see how shiny that is? It's, it's beautiful over the top of a glossy coating. I mean, uh, glossy card stuff, but anyways, I mean, when they'd make postcards sometimes, you know, on a printing machine instead of like a, a color, what they do is they put a, a clear coat over the tops of papers too, or postcards. Let's go with the Krylon UV resistant, okay? It says it's, it protects against harmful UV light, light rays, non-yellowing permanent coating, moisture resistant, and dries in minutes, okay? Kind of more for our, um, the artist application. And yeah, let's do half and half, okay? Okay, you can see one side and the other side. Can you see the depth of this side? It's hard to see with that glare there. And here's this side, a little bit more dull. See that rich green in there as well? Okay, maybe you can see in the top better. It's really glossy and this side is kind of more, I don't know, it almost looks matte in comparison. I like the edges real dark and crisp. Okay, see that right there? They have a beautiful coating on that. Um, now let's try this one right here. This one really dried kind of to a dull sheen. If you like that look, then of course don't spray it. Um, certainly don't have to. Um, Let's go with the UV again. Okay. You can see the trees here, that black on that side, and the black over here. Same black, right? But it just brought out a somewhat a deeper saturation. switch up here. Okay, this is the uh, ledge. I stamped in those birds this morning. Needed something up in the sky, but let's use the um, the one that, the, the spray that I probably use the most these days is the, uh, the premium decor. Uh, let's see. Discovery by Ken Pesho. Uh, and uh, his advice is always valued, and he's always right about these uh, things in terms of media and whatnot. Um, this is found at Ace Hardware, and the thing that I like about it is you get all the benefits of the other sprays, but this one just seems to dry so much faster. use it so much I'm almost out of it. So I make a few passes at it, but look at that difference between that side and this side. Okay, it looked the same before I sprayed it, but look at it now. See those rocks down there, what a deep black and how shiny it is. You come over here and it's a little bit dull. Okay, so like I said, if the uh, ink applies the same but dries differently. Again, the great equalizer are sprays, just spray seal in it, and it looks better, and you won't have to worry about anything kind of drying, drying dull, unless you want that kind of, that softer, you know, look. Okay, I'm almost out of this. That might be the last card that I spray with that can. Okay, here we go. Very 
saturated in terms of the uh, depth of uh, layers of ink. Okay. Now, one of my favorite um, sprays for stamp board, because stamp board is a hardboard tile, is, um, and it has a clay surface on it. This is a scene that I think I did for one of the previous lessons, but um, it dried very dull, and I just put another coat of uh, blue on there today, so it looks a little bit deeper, but see this, how flat it is? Of course, it's a clay surface. It's not a glossy surface. But what I like to do is I like to use the um, polyurethane spray. It doesn't have to be Minwax. Any kind of polyurethane spray you find it in the uh, that you know whole section in the hardware store. Uh, let's see. Let's focus in here. Okay, got that. But what I like to do is give these tiles a real thick coating of spray. Can. And let's see, you see how glossy that is now? And for me, it has the feeling of a glazed tile, you know, like a ceramic tile, because you do have that clay aspect on here and the hard board, so you can put a real thick coating on here. And it takes a long time to dry, you know, so you just leave it sitting for a while. And, um,. You know, when it dries, it has this really thick coat of, uh, you know, that clear, um, clear uh, surface or whatnot. So, like I said, it, it feels like a fired tile that you've applied glaze to or ceramics. So, anyways, um, these are some different sprays here, and uh, something that I would always recommend, you know, for those that uh, want to, you know, kind of retain the. Uh, or kind of resurrect the uh, the richness of a freshly stamped scene. Um, you know, this is all glossy paper, but you can do it on matte too, I would guess. Uh, and of course, that's what something like the uh, the UV resistant is used for. Some um, there's other sprays called like spray fix, spray fixatives, and um, those ones are more for like chalks or pastels and it's not meant to give it a glossy coating, but you can try that as well. I mean, back in the day, we there were people that were also using um, things like hairspray. Okay, that's for people that weren't worried about, you know, like a UV or a yellowing effect, you know, or something like that. Um, but anyways, you can try it out. It is a clear spray, and, uh, you know, should meet with a different effect, but if you're not worried about it. Um, as far as the UV-resistant... UV uh, clear. I don't know how light fast that's going to make any uh, colors. I think if I left this out in the sun too long, I think this would really, you know, fade out. The UV probably just cuts out some of, the, some of that UV and helps something that might be under glass, but I wouldn't say that makes these things permanently, you know, saturated for, you know, display purposes. It might help it a little bit, but all these clears and things like that, dye-based inks, you know, typically are very bright colors, and unless you're working with something like a memento that's supposed to be kind of fade-resistant, um, I don't know how much I would trust that, so uh, the bottom line is if you ever really like a scene a lot or something that you've stamped out and you're kind of, you know, you want it to, re you know, remain super vibrant, and you also want to put it on display, I'd recommend um, scanning it and getting a color print of it and putting that on display and leaving the originals um, somewhere out of the light. And if you do that, then these should, you know, I have some scenes from 20 years ago that look just as vibrant now because they haven't been exposed to uh, light, so. Anyways, a uh, variety of different sprays, all very effective. Again, I like the Ken Pesho Premium Decor Clear. I just think it dries the fastest, so, you know, if you're in a hurry, like all these right now, I want to I wanna matte and uh, put into a card format, but probably all of them except for the, uh, you know, the PDS 7 gloss, uh, you know, I'd, ha I'd have to wait because it's going to be tacky to the, you know, the 
fingertips. So anyways, I uh, hope that helps and uh, answers some questions about the sprays. Thanks for watching.